Tundra backflip hard folding cover install. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST. Down here on the table behind me, you can see the unboxed backflip hard folding cover for the Toyota Tundra. I did a little unboxing a few days ago, so if you want to check that out, see what comes in with this kit, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. But today, we're actually going to install it. Now, step number one, which I wish I'd have known before I put them on, is to remove the bed rails from the truck to affix some hardware that comes with the kit. So, I have to go in and remove the bed rails first off. And if you're not familiar, those are the rails or the track system that runs along the sides of the truck. It's just the sides, not the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and then we'll go on to step number, well, it's really step number one, I guess. That's a pre-step. Okay, now that we've got the rails off, one on each side, the next step is to go ahead and affix these little brackets I guess to the back of the rails so you have a bolt a washer and then a lock nut um, and there are five on each side they give you 12 I don't know if there's extras yet or not but I'm gonna go ahead get them all on and then once that's done through these holes you go ahead and mount the rail system back to the truck with the existing hardware sitting over there and the rails themselves so let me go ahead and do that all right, I've got all the rails put back on with the brackets that came with the kit. You can see on both sides there, that's how it should look. Not too difficult, a little time consuming. Now, it calls for some weather stripping across the front bulkhead, if you will. And that's if you don't have a drop-in bed liner. I don't have a drop-in bed liner, but I do have a spray-in liner. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and put that across the front right now. We've got the weather stripping across the front. You can see right here. Um, just a note, it is a little bit longer what they give you than what is required. So you have to snip the end off. Not a big deal. Uh, that's how it looks. Now we move on to the next step. Okay, I've got the side rails on or the side rails for the uh, cover right here. A couple things. I thought that it actually attached to the bed rails. It doesn't. The whole reason they give you these things is to move the bed rails down so you can still use them. Uh, you do not need the bed rails to do this. The only reason it asks is so they include this in the kit so you can lower them so they're still there. So if you don't have the bed rails, you don't need that and you don't need to get the bed rails. It does sit up just a little bit over the lip or the edge of the side rails of the truck. You can see there. Uh, same thing, hopefully, on the other side. Uh, you can see right here. It does sit up just a little bit. Um, they're held on by clamps. The clamps go underneath. You can see one right there. And they clamp into a channel right here. See it's kind of ribbed right there. The camera focuses. I think you can see it. And then behind the bed rail on the truck and that's what holds them on three of them and that's it so now it's time to move on to the next step next up we're going to install these buckle ends on the small part of the cover and what you want to do this is the bottom obviously they screw on from the top and they want to be facing that way towards the back of the truck so that they can receive the buckles should you want to open it up now, the screws go in from the top. They give you these little screws. You only use a screwdriver. And then these nice little decorative hoochies go in from the bottom. So, I'm going to go ahead and put those on. They are on. They go just like that, again, with the receiving end pointing to the back or the rear end of the truck so it can receive the little clasp that would go in there. So, next up, apparently, we need to lift the unit up on the truck, finally. All right, we've got the cover sitting on top of the truck. This front part, which goes up and down here, is supposed to sit with the seal uh, just over the bulkhead, which we've achieved, I think. Looks a little off to me, but the bed may be a little bit off too, I'm not sure. I will try to even it up, and what I'm talking about is you can see a gap here, 
but no gap as you move down. So it might be kind of catty cornered. And next, after I get that flush or straightened, we're supposed to put some screws down through these holes. That's to hold this front part on, I'm guessing. So we'll do that next. All right, I am done. The tonneau cover, hard cover, flip cover, whatever you want to call it, cover is done. Let me show you the one last piece that I did, and that was securing the cover up here in the front with these bolts. Um, they, they're just flat-headed kind of things for security, obviously. They go through that silver bracket that you should have seen on the rails we put in, and then they have a knob that just twists them on. I'll show you that in just a minute. That's what it looks like. There are a couple of steps I'm going to leave off. Um, they give you these little cushions, I guess, so that if you open it all the way up against the cab, it won't hit the cab. That's not really a concern of mine. I don't think there is a need. And secondly, these drain holes. They go on a couple of spots up in the front, and I'll see if I can shine a light up there to show you. Right up there in the corner, um, you can probably see a nub coming down right beside that little thumb uh, screw or bolt, not bolt, that little thumb knob or that knob up there on the silver part. There's a knob, a nub rather, coming down there. They fit over that and they're supposed to go down and through your bulkhead there uh, for drainage. So, how does it function, you may be asking. Uh, well, there are lines, pulls, that run along the sides. Here and then in the second and probably the third. Let's find out. You pull the pull, and I'm trying to do this one-handed, so I'm going to try to lift it up as I do it. Yeah, like that. So I can't actually do it with one uh, one hand in the camera. And then it just folds down like so. And then you would hit the next two poles right here to fold it the next way. And then the other two up there, as you can see. So let me set you guys down. I'll give you the full Monty here. I think uh, right there should be good. And we'll open it all the way. I'm curious to see how it works myself uh, because I have not actually done it. So, we should be able to grab the next two poles right here, pull them down, and then open the top. Works really smoothly, I'll give it that. And then lay that part down. And this is where you would have those bumper pieces I was talking about that I'm going to exclude. I'm not too worried. And then the next two here, again, I haven't done this yet, pull them down, and it opens just like so. And then there is where it will lean against the cab. And that's it. To shut it, just pull it the rest of the way. What you heard clicking are these little push-in hoochies here. This is the wire that operates them. Uh, that's what you heard clicking. And that's really it. So, that is the whole install of the backflip hard tonneau cover, I guess I'll call it, or hard trifold cover, for the Toyota Tundra. The project itself, Took me about two and a half hours, and that included filming time, you know, like stopping to do what I'm doing right now. Um, and I took my time. Um, the hardest part of it, there really is no hard part. Just take your time, figure out the brackets. If anything, the brackets down here that hold the rails on, these, they're probably the hardest part to figure out. But once you master that, it's really not too difficult. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. If you have one like this, how did you find the install? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, sitting right out there. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.